Hello and welcome to my channel Rapid Vectors. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to create a door for your level so that when the player passes through it they will transition from level 1 to level 2. You can then use doors on all of your levels to keep transitioning to whichever levels you wish the player to move to. And remember if you like what you see in this tutorial please hit like or subscribe. If we just go to the levels folder Open level 1 and around this area I will create a door to allow the player to transition from this level to level 2. So at the moment I don't have a level 2 so I will create a very basic level that's similar to this before we move on to creating a door and the scene transition manager. Now in my levels folder I've created a level 2. I've used the inherited scene from base level. This has then given me my tile map, the player, and the player camera. With the tile map, I've used my game assets to create the ground layer, the background layer, and foreground layer. And then with the player camera 2D, I've then set up the limits for that. So I will now test the scene for level two. As you can see, the player now is running in level two, and you can see I've got some assets that sit behind the player and some assets that are in front of the player and then here I'll create a door and we'll create a transition from level one into level two. We will now begin to create a door to allow the player to move from level one to level two. So what we'll do is just go to the levels folder and inside this folder let's create a new folder and call it door. Let's just open up the test level ready, then go to scene, new scene, and choose another node. And search for sprite 2D, and then add another node. So add child node, and search for node 2D. Now I want this to actually be the root, so I'm just going to switch that. If you just right click, and say make scene root, let's just rename node 2D to be door, and then let's save our scene. So just pop the door scene inside the levels door folder and then head back over to your warped assets pack under the folder png environment and then props we want to use gate 03 png and this is the door in the open state for now so let's just drag that into our door folder and click on sprite and just assign that texture let's zoom in on our door Let's just reposition this right so it sits just on top of the x axis and against the y axis. Now, for this sprite, the door is facing to the right, which is fine, we can leave it like that. But then, when you put it in the scene, you may need to flip the sprite. So, we'll click on door, add child node, and search for area 2D and just create that node. Let's add another child node, collision shape 2D, and then create that node. And then for the shape, choose a new rectangle shape 2D. Let's just change the debug color to something different. And then let's just move that into position. So because this is the back of the door, I'm just going to make that the same height, but make it a lot smaller. Because I want the player to go inside the door, be about here. And then as it touches this area, the scene will start to transition to the next level. We'll just make this a lot thinner. Click back on the door node and let's now attach a script. We'll save that in the door folder. Let's rename this area to be exit area 2D. And we need to now assign a collision layer to this. So we'll create a new layer because it may not match an appropriate layer from the collision. So let's just scroll down to the collision layer. So let's just open those. And we've currently got ground player animate pickup and collectibles so i think the next layer we'll call this doors so I'll assign layer six for this area and we want to detect the player now I'll click on the node tab and what we want to do is we need to detect the body entered signal so just connect that and we'll attach that to our script and in the script we'll say if body dot is in group player then board player equals body as character body 2D. And then what we want to do is when we've got the player, we actually want to free the player from the level. 
then we'll await and then get three and create a time to wait and we'll say three seconds and then call that timeout signal so what the await keyword does is it will allow the game to continue and not block any threads and then when the timeout hits three seconds the code will then continue again from this point onwards so what we'll do we'll just print the statement after our await so we want to effectively perform scene transition at this point let's head over to the test level and let's create the door in the scene as you can see the door is now facing to the right and there's an easy way to flip the door so that it faces to the left if you just go into the properties in the inspector you have a scale option here just unlink the component ratio so that when we only want to change the value one on the x-axis if this is active whatever value you put in here changes this so for instance that happens so just turn that off let's set them both to one and for the x-axis you just put minus one and it will automatically flip it for you so let's test the scene so as we move into the door the player should contact the exit area and then we'll wait three seconds and we should see scene transition here so when you press the keys the player can't move because it's been removed from the scene and we've got our debug statement there let's just close that now that we have a door let's start to create the scene manager and the transition to scene functions so in the root folder go to scripts and let's create a new script here and we'll call it scene manager and just create that and go to project project settings auto load and then load the scene manager from the scripts folder click open and then add that scene manager let's now open the scene manager and in the script let's create a new variable called scene so var scenes which is a type dictionary equals open brackets and the first string will be level one and then pass in the path for level one and for the second item in the dictionary we'll do level two and let's create a function we'll call this transition to scene and then we'll pass in level which is of type string and we'll have another variable called scene path which equals the scenes variable from the dictionary and then we'll just say get and then pass level as the string so what that will do that will pass in the level string which will match either level one or level two and the get function should then return this value here which is the scene path then say if scene path is not equal to null then let's await again and use a timer from the tree but now we'll just set that to 0.1 second timeout set that to one second and call get tree again and then use dot change scene to file and pass in that scene path now head over to the scripts folder again and load the game manager script and let's make some modifications to this script so let's remove this variable here and in start game we can remove this line here because we've now got the scene manager we'll say scene manager transition to scene and then pass in level one and if we scroll down and then remove this function because it is in our scene manager script let's just test the game so when we click play there should be a slight pause and we will see just the display server color and then after roughly about a second it will then go to level one okay that's correct now in that pause moment where we just saw the purple background we will fill that in with a transition screen which can act as a loading screen this won't be made in this tutorial though let's just stop the game now that we've tested that the transition to scene works for the scene manager let's just head back over to the test level and now let's test the player going through the door and being transitioned from the test level to level one and to do this let's go back to the door scene go back to the script and we need to export some variable here so that the scene manager can transition so let's add an export variable call this next scene and use string 
then under the print statement we'll say scene manager dot transition to scene and pass in next scene we can remove this print statement too let's save that and in test level if we now click on door in next scene we'll type level one which matches in our dictionary in the scene manager this key name here let's go back to the test level now test the scene as we run into the door there will be a pause and after the pause is elapsed it will transition to scene one now that's transition to scene one so everything is working correctly when we set the variable on the door this will allow us to then have doors in different places and set which scene we would like to transition to let's stop that let's head over to the levels folder open level one and somewhere in this scene we'll add a door and then change the parameter to level two and then we'll perform the transition from level one to level two so i'm just going to zoom in and add a door here i'll open the door folder i'll drag the door into the scene i will then Select the door in the inspector. I'm just going to flip this so it faces in the right way and then just pop this against the level wall. Just drag it down a touch and that's fitting in nicely. Then on the door property for next scene, I'll add level two. So I'm just going to move the door so that it is just below the player. Now, when the player runs across towards the door, the sprite for the player may overlap the door. If that's the case, then there is a fix for that. So let's test the scene. Let's play. And let's run. Head towards the door. And let's just check that. So we need to just make a modification to the door scene. We'll stop that. Let's open the door scene. And on sprite 2D, let's select that node. And then scroll down and for z index let's just increase that to one let's run the game again let's head towards the door we'll just check that so that's correct and let's just run straight through the door okay there's a slight pause and then we have now transitioned to level two so everything is looking good there let's just stop that now that brings us to the end of this tutorial on how to transition between scenes. In the next tutorials, I will be creating the scene transition screen, which can be used as a loading screen. And I will also be creating a key, which will open the door. So we will be creating an open door animation and a closed door animation. If you like what you see in this tutorial, Please remember to hit like or subscribe and receive updates for future tutorials. Thank you for watching.